I just got zapped. Uh, let's see. Oh, those are water bo uh, water skins. Besides this guy. Oh wait! Aha! He, he did not die. We kicked him out of the party because we got a were jackal. Hey Zook Galaxy, how's it going? Oh, alright. Uh, the dreams of Anctopot. Yeah, I mean, I could just go back and get him. It's no big deal. In these days, mothers frighten their children with tales of Octopod. They say he stalks the night, a mummy wandering the desert sands. It is a tale for children. The truth of it is worse. A reality of dreams and the fitful state in which a monster sleeps. All mummies are prone to long periods of slumber, and Octopod is no exception. According to the most reliable sources, he lies sealed in Pharaoh's Rest, in a state similar to vampiric hibernation. I don't- there's- there's really not any reason to- to just not keep him in Werejackal form. <laughs> Unfortunately, the powers of Octopot are so great that his dreams alone affect the land. It is set of storm- set of storms, disease, and disasters in Harakir that they are the wrath of the dreaming Octopot. I might run into a mummy. I don't- yeah, like, I just get that feeling, right? Like, there's got a- there's a mummy in this game somewhere. It's not quite mummy time. We'll- we'll get there. Wait, what, demonic? Inflicting what on me? What did you do? What are you doing? I'm scared. I'm doing pretty great. Octopot's touch of death. I am much worried over the health of... Yeah, d Demonic is inflicting something on me. Oh god, I'll, I'll look in a second. I am much worried over the health of my lord Octopot. Each breath comes as a distraction, as though he fears it might be his last. His search to extend his life consumes him. The palace has become silent. Within its walls, we walk about as in a tomb. The music once played, the music once played is gone. It is said the priests of Ra no longer trust my lord. Worse, a series of deaths has begun, begun among them. How can they blame my dear lord, my suffering lord? They call it Octopot's touch of death. Were it in my power, I would punish them for my insolence. Were it in my power, I would heal my lord Octopot of all misery. Okay, I'll, I'll look at what what you redeemed right now. Okay, let's see here. Also, yes, if you have not voted, we are we are taking votes for the next game that I'll play. Let's see here. Redemptions. Uh no! Demonic, why would you do this? Well, thank you, Zoop Galaxy. Demonic has redeemed for the next non-RPG 6th generation game, Godai Elemental Force. One of the worst PS2 games. Alright, I was gonna... I, I forgot to give you bucks yesterday, so I can do that today. I can do that right now. All right, everybody get everybody gets 50k. So I finished like a million dungeons yesterday. It is the worst PS2 game. Well, why why are you doing this to me? 
I mean, I have to play it eventually, right? Uh, page three, torn from the guide to the ancient dead. Senmet is a mummy whose powers are limited. That is to say, not of the fourth or fifth ranks of invulnerability. No, it's it's totally fine. We'll we'll play it. It'll be awesome. Indeed, some actions may succeed in his destruction. Yet even when victory seems imminent, care must be taken. The blows of magical weapons are not enough. Seeing the beast fall before you is not enough. Soon the defeated hulk of bone and tattery cloth will rise. It shall seek you out. Yet in my Harakiri studies, I have come across mention, now and again, of a spell known as the Spell of Retirement. Uh, we've already done this. I guess this is a hint on how to defeat Senmet. So yeah, Senmet permanently destroyed. We, we killed that guy. No, stop. No. Uh, let's go. Let's go over here. Uh, oh, there he is. I'm like, where? <laughs> I hear an enemy, but I don't see him. Uh, the, the priests, I guess. There's just priests, and they're like, hey, let's make a, a fifth, a rank five mummy. And then they go, oh shit, we made a fifth, a rank five mummy. He's super invulnerable. We'll have to make another rank five mummy to defeat him. Yeah, I, I mean, thankfully, thankfully it's short. So I will survive. It is, this is a Wand of Frost. Exactly, Flynn. Also welcome, Flynn. Vote on that, vote on that straw poll. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with you on Mr. Bean. That game was really bad. Oh, his claw swipes do not do a lot of damage. The game was a curse, and I had to play the the entire thing. All right, let's rest and heal. We couldn't really figure it out either. It was apparently based on some sort of... some sort of cartoon that they made. There was like a Mr. Bean cartoon. For some reason. And, and the game I played was was based on that. Oh, okay, I think I can open this. Hey. Here they all come. Luckily, I got a million fireballs.
All right, we got a ring of protection. All right, uh, doesn't do anything, doesn't do anything. Oh wait, uh, plus, okay, plus eight. My mage now has, my mage now has plus eight AC. <laughs> Or a negative eight AC, which I feel like for a mage, that's that's a ridiculous amount of armor class. It's it's higher than my main Wemic fighter guy. <laughs> I, I gotta say, like, as as bad as it was, it was still better than the Little Britain game that I played. Still better than Little Britain. Hey, I'm bored. How's it going? Was there, was there, oh wait, here it is. The Tears of Ra. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's very true. There's a legend, there's a legend. One I have heard whispered in the high places and the low places of Harakir. In the Age of Beauty, it is said, in an age when innocence walked the earth, there came among men mortals too be beautiful to bear. Their goodness blessed the fertile lands. By their grace, they set an example for men and gods alike. Yet no age lasts forever. In the end, the evils of desert the evils of desert and darkness rose up to overwhelm the pure of heart. In those days the go gods of goddess goodness and purity wept. The tears of Ra fell to earth. These were tears of polished light, and it is said that they shone with a brilliance so great it caused vast destruction. So it was that the handmaidens of Ra were sent to collect the tears. Whether each and every tear was found is a matter of great study among scholars. Oh man, I mean, I could just play it. I could just, I could play a Sonic the Hedgehog Commodore Commodore 64 port. Oh god. That would be interesting to check out at least. As it has been foretold, I hold a secret. A word of command is mine to tell. Listen, for the history of Octopot belongs to he who speaks the name Herophon. Herophon. Okay, we we have the secret word. Now we can use the uh, now we can use the 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 mind bottle. The secret to the bottle is known to us. If memory serves, the command word is Hierophant. Anctopot, Anctopot, one jewel this pharaoh sought, one prize, immortality. The priests of Ra gathered, opposing Anctopot. One by one they fell victim to Anctopot's touch of death. The Hierophant, a great priest of Ra, determined to end the threat. In stealth, Heck yeah, homebrew. Front moved against the ruler of the land. Anctopot, deep in dreams of immortality, heard nothing. <laughs> DB Stewart. <laughs> in the fall of a shadow. Yeah, Mario took way too long to get all those cake. to get all those stars. She ate the cakes. The priests of Ra laid Anctopot to his rest. The threat to the priests of Ra seemed over. The Hierophant's battle won. Not so. The enmity between priest and pharaoh had just begun. Well, 
Well, that was neat. I don't think we need this thought bottle anymore. I think we're... Look how huge it is. <laughs> I think we're done with this. That was, that was just some lore. Oh no. This dungeon seems to be all lore. Alright, we got some healing potions. Alright, where have I not gone? I haven't gone here. There's a little little thing over here. Uh, there's another door up here. This. And this over here. So there's still quite a bit left. Uh, yes. I have I finished two, three, four, and five. That's all I've that's all I've done. That is yeah, that's a, quite a few of them. It's at least almost all of the the original series except for one. One is one is a slog. One is just a giant slog, and I, I've i tried to play it, and it just seems... It seems no fun. <laughs> wow, that... Wow! So many mimics. Alright, I got him. It's a ZX Spectrum CD ROM game? Wow. I can't imagine that it would be able to load games from a CD ROM very fast. This is a potion of extra healing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna drink that. This is a staff of swarming insects. There's a there's so many of them too. Like you try to look at one pot and like 15 mimics pop up. That looks like that's just that's just a shortcut. Uh no, this is a new character. Uh this character was in this dungeon. He was hiding out because he was cursed. Uh he is a he is a werejackal. And uh, you know, we said, "Hey, come with, come with us. We'll, we'll trust you. We, we think you're a good guy." And he's one of the best characters in the game. He has naturally a negative ten armor class, which is really good. Well, it's not natural. He, he does have a spell on him. He's got magical vestment and draw dexterity. But still, negative ten is super good. Well, it, I, I think it makes sense in this setting. Like, you wouldn't have wolves in this setting. Because we're in we're in Egypt land. So, a were-jackal makes more sense. Hey, the host from the host from Tiger Hair Ram again. Okay, what do we got over here? Scroll one, the hero in the Falcon. 
<laughs> yeah, just, you know, werewolves, whatever. I'm uncreative. Oh, that sucks, Sting. I'm sorry. In the days when Octopot ruled as Pharaoh and Harakir, his soldiers revered him, remaining faithful and true. From among the soldiers, elite guards were picked, and from these guards, the personal guard of the Pharaoh came. It was a great honor, honor to be chosen. In the last days of Octobot's immortal rule, a great hero earned this right. To stand between his king and the dangers of land, renowned for his skill with weapons and the trained falcon at his side, this warrior stood ready to sacrifice his own life. Yet the one who slew Octobot moved with such stealth that no chance was given. The hero stood guard, unknowing, while the Pharaoh met his fate. Aww. Falcon Thompson completely failed at his job. Alright, I think that's... I think that's uh, pretty much the whole dungeon, except for this little spot over here. And then I think that's... Uh, this is... this goes down over here. There were, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I wish they had made a game for each of the Ravenloft realms. They only made two of them, and I, I don't, I'm not really familiar with what they all are. But unfortunately, the Ravenloft game we got after this was Warriors of Ravenloft for, for PS1, one of the worst games ever made. Shut up. I should be the one. It is. It's a it's a it's a side setting where it's a it's where you throw it's where you throw your high level parties into when you want to you want to kill them. It's really just to to torment your players. Yeah, it's it's all gothic horror. You got like you got like vampire world, you got mummy world. There's apparently others, but I'm not really familiar with with the different settings. All right, I think that's that's mostly it. There's something over here. Clown world. Yeah, I mean, that's the scariest one of all. Alright, that is the whole dungeon. Or the, the whole floor. So we can go to the next. Clown world, spider world, and clown spider world. That one's even, that one's the worst. Okay, so I think I've, yeah, I've exhausted, all, I've exhausted everything on this floor. I know, I know Dragon Magpie. It sounds, you know, that sounds so scary. Yeah, Ravenloft is just something you kind of get sucked into. Uh, that's what happens... That's what happens in the, I believe, the first game and the second game. Like a big wall of mist just shows up, and uh, you either get pulled into it, or a guy's like, "Hey, the king's like, hey, go investigate that weird, that weird desert wall of mist that just showed up." <laughs> and Nell, Nell is here. Thank you for the raid. That is awesome. What, what were you playing? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a summoned weapon. It's a flame blade. Basically, I can attack as fast as I can click, which is which is really nice. 
Oh, nice. Hey, who's your, hey, thank you for the follow. Who's your D&D &D character? Oh, what are we voting on? Uh, just a second. I can... Uh, yep. There we go. You can, you can go to Vampire Mist or Regular Mist. At least you won't get level drained in Regular Mist. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, it's it's been pretty much the theme of the month that we're just doing a, lot, a whole lot of DOS, PC DOS dungeon crawlers. Hey, neat. Okay, well, let's go through here. This, this, I like how the st the stairways are just like its own single floor of teleports. That's, I mean, if there's a way to communicate with this presence, then we not, have not yet found it. There's something about this figure, an animation, a power held in check, but barely so, as if it would speak. Can you hear us? <laughs> Alright, we gotta find something to talk to the statue. It's probably somewhere on this floor. Yeah, I just I mean I just decided, hey, you know, for the rest of for the rest of December we could just do some we could just do some dungeon crawlers. Nothing wrong with that. We'll start We'll start Ocarina of Time and Time and stuff in January. You have entered the labyrinth of the magic. Priests and mages. Yeah, more PC. Held safe within their secrets await study. Okay, um, I see a switch here, but it won't let me press it. It's actually a bunch. Yeah, there's like one right there. I'll figure it out, but yeah, right now it's not letting me. It's not letting me push these. When do we do King of the Hill Doom? Uh, I mean, I guess we we could do that on some Friday. It sounds it sounds like a definite Friday thing. Again, not working. Uh, cure serious wounds. That's, that's probably for the best. I like that mimics aren't just like really surprising enemies. They tend to be like the most dangerous. It's not just like, oh, this treasure chest turned into a monster. I guess we have to kill it. No, it's this treasure chest turned into a monster and the monster is like super impossible. All right, what's this? Mage scroll of disintegrate. I'll take that. Yeah, the, the Dark Souls mimics who like drop kick you and shit. <laughs> are the uh, the mimics in the in the Tales games are all super strong. 
They all have like instant death attacks and stuff. I am stuck to the floor. Apparently these pot mimics are actually gluing you to the floor, so you can't get away from them. Uh, cure serious wounds. And cure serious wounds. That looks like it should be something I could like interact with, but it's not. I believe I have something that can open this. Maybe not. Okay, I gotta find a I gotta find another key. Oh, what happened, Heat Legend? What, really? That's super weird. And, did, and then you saw him, and he looked exactly like you? Yeah, did you get- did you secretly get cloned? Hey, Andron, how's it going? <laughs> oh, really? That's pretty rude. Don't- don't push me in there. <laughs> I got pushed through that little poison... Oh, really? It's okay, it's okay. I got I got a little poison, but I'm I'm fine. Uh Mage Scroll of Claws of the Umber Hulk, which I I have. These all look like secret secret switches, but none of them none of them are. Alright, got anything over here? Like no, I'm gonna go back over here and then uh, then move on. I think yeah, I think those just might be decoration. All right, it's okay. It's okay. I got neutralized poison. Time to do buffs. This is going to take a while. go next uh, let's go in here I'm 
being attacked. Come on, you, you can hit him. Ooh. Yeah. Alright, no idea what that did. That probably opened a opened a gate somewhere. Maybe? I don't see anything I don't see anything open. Oh maybe it disabled it did not. Like maybe it disabled that uh that trap. It it didn't. Crocodile figurine. I will hold on to that, I guess. Maybe that's a key? Yeah. Seems like that might be a key or something. Maybe down here. Maybe the maybe the crocodile figurine. Oh, an offering I uh, The likeness of creature. Yeah. Okay. This 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 statue wants the crocodile figurine. In life, it draws its prey beneath the waves, there to die. The armored lord of the riverbanks. Oh, that's that's easy. It's the thing. That, it's literally the only thing the in the dungeon that I picked up. Fireball him. You know, Senef, he doesn't... <laughs> he misses a lot. I think it's because he's such a low... He's such a low level compared to everybody else. He's only level 8. Everybody else is like level 12. Hmm. Yeah, we got a mystery. We got two mystery portals. Uh, let's go into let's go into this one. It's a good choice, good choice right there. I'm being attacked by several. There's one behind me. idea what that did. Uh, 
I I do not know what commercials you're talking about. Now I'm curious. Alright, let's see what's in here. Uh, we got some pots. We got some pots. What is this? Scroll of Creek Water. Oh, wacky kids joke. Well, give me a second and we'll grab the book. Well, we'll grab a book. Oh. Eh. Alright, I've I pushed I pushed another switch. Oh, I'm I'm always excited for a wacky kid joke. Always. Uh, scroll of haste. Nice. Okay, so that's there's just the one portal in here. I've already been through here. But I know there's at least another, one other path. I haven't gone here. Because there were, there were two portals here. I don't remember which one I went into. I think I went into the, into the left one. Oh, this one just sends you back here. Alright, that's fine. I think I've gone through all... All the combinations of all the, uh, of all the portals there, then. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab, grab a random one. Grab a, wacky, a random wacky kids joke. Make sure I have all of them. I said random. Let me grab a random wacky kid joke. Alright. Okay, let me let me shuffle shuffle in the books. They pick one from the middle. It is 101 school jokes. All right, let's pick one at random here. Uh, after school specials. No, oh, no, we already did this one. Um, what? Uh, Freddy's teacher says he needs an encyclopedia. Encyclopedia, my eye. Let him walk to school the way I did. Let, let the kid have a bike. What is your problem? That's, it's a very, that's a, a very bit of a stretch. Also, let the let the damn kid have a bike. What is what is your deal? That was too wacky. Yes. Anyways. Get buffed up here. Haste. Draw dexterity. Magical vestment. Draw strength. Light. And detect magic. Okay, we're all good. So what's in here? I see a million. Oh, you know, I'm going to click on one of these pots and it's just. There's just going to be so many mimics. Okay, here we go. Let's let's go over here. 
kind of kind of herd them herd them into a, a nice fireball situation. Hey, an off day. How's it going? Thank you. So there should be like another like button here somewhere. So let's, let's look for it. Oh, we got two portals. So once again, I'll start with the uh, I'll start with the left one. The left one just put me out here. All right, what am I looking at here? Another portal. There's also a pot over here and a switch. And the Ram figurine. Let's click that. have mind control vampires walk and touch every square of the room that's actually um if you played gothic 2 there's there's one puzzle in gothic 2 where you go into a room where there's hundreds of levers and there's only one right lever but every other lever will you, will kill you with a spike trap Happy hey. holidays. games by design thank you for the sub so what you do is you convince a ghost to go in there and start pulling all the levers. Eventually he gets the right one. It's a it's a pretty long game. Okay. Uh I completely missed this that this existed. We get a a bag of holding. Hell yeah! What are we gonna put in this bag of holding? Is there anything in it? No. All right. Well, that is that's always a really nice thing to really nice thing to get. Yeah, ghosts. Okay, let's go to the left one. This is just sending me back through here. That sounds like it might break things. I don't want to break the universe. Yeah, we got, uh, this is new. Yeah, we could put bacon in the bag. Oh, hit that. And uh, a frog figurine. That opened uh, that that door right there. This the <laughs> did I did I go to the wrong place? No, this this just goes to a, a place that I've already go I've already been to. Like that was completely pointless. Uh, but anyways, I guess that all the teleports are solved. We're probably pretty done here. It seems like there should be something in there. But uh. Maybe I get there later. An offering I await. Approach and deliver to me the likeness of a creature. In life it strikes with horned fury. The Lord of the Gate Smashers. Oh, the Lord of the Gate Smashers. That is, of course, the Ram figurine. The offering is true. Alright, 
what is happening? Hit him! Sinef! Or Sether, Sether Ra, whatever your name is. Hit something. The frog is not the Lord of the Gate Smasher, as it turns out. An offering I await. Approach and deliver to me the likeness of a creature. In life, legless it begins, rising from the water to leap among the low places. From fish to web feet. Hey, G Pudding, we're just uh, we're just solving some riddles. I'm doing pretty good. Um, that this is a frog. The offering is true. Who's the dog? This is Sether Ra, who uh, he locked himself he locked himself in a in a tomb here because he's <laughs> they're they're really not riddles, because he's a, a were jackal, but we convinced him to join our party because he's a cool dude. Except he's only like level eight, so he can't hit anything. He'll get better. He'll get better. Yeah, he's you know set or raw. He's one of the two. sure make sure I get everything I know there's some pots here wait yeah <laughs> nope fireball uh, I am currently stuck to the floor. got some ointments uh he left we we took him out because we we had to get the wear jackal he got really mad at me he called me jesters of the sands he's like how dare you Hey, I mean, this dude is just playing better. Yeah, how how dare you not take me into this deadly tomb with all these pot mimics? Secret shall earn its name. Its passages are concealed, while the means to open them lie well hidden. I'll figure it out. Alright. Yeah, fireball him. You don't really get any good feedback on what your your spells actually do in terms of damage. Uh, they've, they've got magic lip balm. It's fine. Magic chapstick. Alright, uh, we're gonna need to heal Sethar Ra here. Yeah, the uh, apparently the secrets are concealed for some reason. All 
All right. Um. So that did. Um. Maybe it opened something over here. Nope. No idea. I can't tell if it opened something. <laughs> Something open over here, though. We got a scarab figurine. We got two more buttons. Which opens some doors up here. I guess these are the concealed secrets they talked about. That opened. That opened a door over here. With two pots that had nothing in them. Actually, actually, yeah, they like the the stuff like falls out at your feet. It doesn't make any sense. You have to like move. <laughs> Um All my all my spells were off, so let me let me take a nap. Let me check out this stuff. Elven chainmail. Which doesn't seem to be magic. And it seems to be terrible. So let's get rid of that. Um an elven chain helm. Also bad. Alright, gotta <laughs> gotta spend ten minutes buffing again. Don't worry, I got this. That's good. Okay, let's see what's up here. So, mis uh, mysterious teleport, but there's also something down here. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I want to go. I want to go over here. Stop it. And I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's it's t uh, only two mimics. That's not that bad. I can I can fireball these guys. Yeah, they they died they died pretty quick. And that uh, scroll of heal or cloud kill. Uh, yeah, I mean, seriously. Ooh, Death Spell! Alright, let's learn Death Spell. I need to memorize this stuff. Mage is getting all the coolest spells, and I haven't been using them. 
Okay, so I guess uh, the only place we can go now is into that teleport. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's check out um, memorizing spells here. Let's see, we got... I guess Claws of the Umber Hulk are not really useful because she's not in she's not in melee. So we can get Death Spell or Disintegrate. I don't know what's good. So I'm, I guess I'll just take Death Spell because it sounds awesome. Uh, I don't think she can learn anything else. I think she's maxed out on the amount of spells that she can learn. How about praying for spells? Uh, I can learn... Uh, I'll learn one more heal. maybe no it only goes up to six the uh, the actual the higher level spells are in the game you just can never get them it's like they they had planned for another for another adventure after this that would have been higher level but they just they just ended up never doing it That is, it's a, it's a huge shame. They, they'll get around to it, despite them not actually existing as a company anymore. Alright, so that teleport literally goes nowhere. That is me being pushed by the floor. Ancient echoes you shall hear, and your time abide in fear. For in this place of ancient learning, there are traps to set you burning. Burning. I have no idea who's talking to me right now, uh, but I think I can open that. That guy's been taunting me the entire game. Apparently Flynn has been taunting me the entire game. An offering I await. Approach and deliver to me the likeness of a creature. Yeah, it wasn't even from the game. It was just like behind me. Yet it knows the praise of holy men. A gem with wings. A gem with wings. Alright, we know what that is. That is that is the scarab. The offering is true. The way opens. Fireballs! Oh god! I accidentally, accidentally turned on stepping mode and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um... Yeah, I, like, I, yeah, that's a good question, considering that the setting has, like, no people in it or anything. Yeah, I guess they just eat each other. Alright, fireballs. There's no adventurers, though. Everybody's dead. This setting has, like, very few people in it. ointments yeah I mean it's just let's just go with their magic and they don't need to eat uh, neutralize poison I mean my characters don't need to eat either 
I only need to drink water, and I don't even need to do that because, because I have a magic spell. Hey, the gold key with the black gem. 